All right, in this short video, uh, I'm just going to cover how we're going to convert an inventor part to a plant piece of equipment. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, with Plant 3D, we can import ADSK files from Inventor. So if you're working inside Plant 3D with someone who is also working with Inventor, um, this is how you can ask them for their models uh, and subsequently bring them in. So this is um, just Inventor part that I've done. Nothing special about it. It's, it's a tank with some uh, with a base on it with some top and bottom plates, and then I've also modelled in here uh, something representing a, a nozzle for it. So if you're not sure where to look under Inventor, if you switch over to the BIM uh, tab in the ribbon, you click on BIM Exchange. So what happens first is we need to put a connector in. So I'm going to put a pipe connector. Uh, at the center of this and I want to flip it around the other way. Uh, the, nom the diameter is 101.9, the nominal diameter will be 100 in plant sense. Uh, you can nominate the system type, I'm just going to say it's, it's an other uh, and it's a flanged connection type and I might say that it's out. Um, you can go through and put other bits and pieces in there if you want. I'm going to click OK Okay, so it's put the connector in, then I'm going to export those components out to an ADSK file. I've got in some other identity data in there, you can leave it in there if you want, it's, it's completely up to you. I'll stick to the desktop. Okay, so Inventor will tell you that there's a translation report. Okay, so it tells me whether where it is, everything was successful, no real issues, and then we're finished. So I can close that down, open up Plant 3D, so I've just got a normal plant model in here. I go to my, under the Home tab, if I scroll to about halfway across, under Convert Inventor Equipment, it asks me for the file, so we just want that, that ADSK file. I'm going to stick it on 00, zero orientate it to the north and just call it a piece of miscellaneous equipment. Okay, so now you can see, if I switch to 2D, you can see there's that uh, nozzle in there. So I can go through and make sure that it conforms to uh, the catalogue that I've got for nozzles. So I haven't done too much preparation with this, so I'm just going to switch it over to B. Uh, a raised face flange that is inside that. So I still have the connector there, but now you can see when I click on the little plus icon, I can start running pipe. Okay. And you can see there that there's that nozzle with all the, the fasteners, the gaskets, everything in there.